Okay, if we want to calculate descriptive statistics for a quantitative variable, there's actually a one push button shortcut. Instead of doing each one individually, we have a shortcut we can use. Now I'm going to do this for cost, just because I know it's going to work a little bit better than we. So I'm going to hit the data analysis tab, and I am going to find the descriptive statistics option and hit OK. And it's going to ask me to highlight the data I'm interested in. And for this case, I can highlight the label. That's fine, as long as you check that labels in the first row box. So if you highlight the label, make sure you check the box. If you chose not to highlight the label, just make sure that box is unchecked. The only thing we have to do is make sure that that summary statistics box has a check, and then we're going to say OK. And it's going to send a bunch of statistics to the to the next one. Now, it's hard to see the words. So if I go up in, on the top in between those two cells, I can adjust it so that this cell is bigger once those two black bars appear. Now, I'm not interested in all these statistics. Like, standard error is not something we talk about. So I might clear those, or I might delete that cell. And I can highlight it and delete it, and that's fine. Uh, mean, median, and mode are all important. Standard deviation is important. Variance is important. Kurtosis and skewness, not something we really talk about. So I might get rid of them just because it's, it's, good, it's good standard practice. Oh, I didn't do that correctly. Standard practice not to present statistics you don't mention. So we will delete those. Oh, of course, I just deleted the wrong ones. There we go. Range is fine to leave. Minimum, maximum, those are fine. It could, you could see the, the smallest bill was $40. The biggest one was 459 Ouch. Some, probably not something we care about, so we're going to delete that. And count is fine. That tells us 21 animals came into the vet's office. Now, before I copy and paste this, I am going to format the cells to put those nice borders in there, because I do like the borders. Of course, I just added too many borders. All right, and then you can highlight, copy, or er, highlight the whole thing and copy and paste that. That can go right over to your Word document as the Excel output. And that gives you all your important descriptive statistics for the cost of the vet visit.